I cannot believe what I'm actually seeing with my own eyes. The snow has finally melted. We are one day closer to summer, which is awesome. Hey everyone, I'm TCS23 and welcome to Cross Out Basics. If you're new to Cross Out or you haven't played the game in a while, then now is the perfect time to join. And to help you navigate the dangers of the wasteland a little better, in this video, I'm going to show you 21 tips and tricks for cross out in 2021. A quick disclaimer, I'm playing this game on PC, so some of these tips may not apply to console players. Okay, so let's get into it. I'll start off by showing you some tips in the settings menu. Are you having trouble finding matches in your current power score? Are your wait times longer than you expected? Tip number one is to try changing your server region to Russia. During the testing I did, my average wait time on a Russian server was cut in half compared to the North American one. So give this a try and see if it helps. If you were to only take away one tip from this entire video, it should be this. Increase the size of your minimap to large. It will make a huge difference in your overall effectiveness in this game. Along these same lines, you should make sure your minimap scale is set to 1.5 or lower. And lastly, make sure your mini map rotation is on. Okay, now let's check out some main menu tips and tricks. Adding new friends in your contact list means their vehicles will now periodically show up in the test drive area. If you drive up to them and honk your horn, they'll give you free resources, which is a pretty sweet deal if you ask me. Speaking of earning free resources, Every 24 hours, the game will give you 200 units of free fuel, but the catch is your fuel tank needs to be empty to get it. So I'm sure you can guess, tip number four is to use up that free fuel. Tip number five involves one of those hidden in plain sight features. Did you know that every time you go into battle, you actually have someone riding shotgun with you? Well, it's true, and they're called co-drivers, and there are currently seven different ones to choose from. Learn them use them, you're welcome. With new parts being unlocked steadily and discovering better versions of builds made by other players, tip number six is to periodically revise your favorite builds from time to time. You might just be surprised what you come up with. Along that same thought, if you want to get a quick overview of your vehicle stats, tip number seven is to use the information buttons. The first one here will give you your primary stats and the second one will provide you with a parts list and approximate vehicle cost. Tip number eight, you should bind your weapons to separate buttons when applicable. For instance, let's say you have a shotgun build like the one you see here. Binding these weapons between two buttons will act as a radiator of sorts, making you more aware of your weapons overheating threshold. Try this out on your next shotgun wedge build and let me know in the comments below if you notice a difference. In the game of Cross Out as it currently stands, there are 109 weapons, 41 cabins, 45 modules, and a ton of other parts to get familiar with. One of the best ways to learn about these items is through the tech tree. Learn it, use it, you're welcome. Tip number 10 is based on the Cross Out market. In general, you should not quick buy or quick sell items if you can help it. Instead, you should bid just one cent higher for buying and one cent lower for selling. Moving on to storage, did you know that you can sort your parts based on mass or durability? It's true, and it's a super useful tool to use in the game of Crossout. Learn it, use it, you're welcome. Did you know you can earn up to 25% more reputation using decoration parts on your build? It's true, and you can use all the reputation you can get in a game like this. Tip number 13 is to use both fuel containers on your build. If you manage to survive a PvP mission with both fuel tanks intact, you will earn yourself 15 fuel every time. Use them, don't abuse them, you're welcome. Did you know that you don't have to build every vehicle that you make from scratch? It's true. Just go to the Exhibition tab, type in the parts that you have on hand, and presto, someone else did all the hard work for you. At some point in the game, your blueprint storage space will get full. 
Two little tricks to extend this without having to craft more is to favorite a build in the exhibition. And the other trick is to submit a blueprint to the exhibition itself. No need to spend money on something you don't really need. Did you know you can actually test drive weapons and other parts before you craft or buy them? It's true. Just find what you're looking for in the exhibition and click the test drive button here. It's not a perfect solution, but it might just save you from wasting your money on those useless drone weapons. Now onto the challenges tab. Tip number 17. Really? This is getting to be a long list. If you want to earn free resources in this game, one of the best ways is completing the daily and weekly challenges. Daily challenges will earn you scrap, while the weekly challenges earns you engineer badge points. These points can be redeemed in the badge exchange, here. If you're not sure what to spend them on, your best bet is to stick with plastic. Trust me, it's worth it. Okay, how about we finish up with some gameplay tips and tricks. Tip number 18 is to learn the callout system and use it often. It's a great way to communicate with your teammates in the heat of battle. This next tip is specifically for the PvP domination mode. Oftentimes you don't have to destroy all the enemy players to win this match. All you have to do is capture two bases. And if you're smart enough about it, the match will be over before you know it. Did you know the game has an indicator to show when you're inflicting damage on enemy players? It's true. And it's especially noticeable in builds that have lasting damage effects. And finally, tip number 21 is to stick with your teammates. It doesn't matter how good of a player you are, or even if you have the best weapon set up, this game is not made for Rambos. Stick together, and I promise you, you will win more matches. Okay, well that will conclude 21 tips and tricks in Crossout in 2021. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And other than that, I'll see you next time here on Crossout Basics.